Today, we consider a report recommending that the House of Representatives hold Attorney General William Barr in contempt of Congress for defying a valid subpoena issued by this committee. This is not a step we take lightly. It is the culmination of nearly three months of requests, discussions, and negotiations with the Department of Justice for the complete unredacted report by Special Counsel Mueller into Russian interference in the 2016 election, along with the underlying evidence. Besides misapplying the doctrine of executive privilege, since the White House waived these privileges long ago, and the Department seemed open to sharing these materials with us just yesterday, this decision represents a clear escalation in the Trump administration's blanket defiance of Congress' constitutionally mandated duties. I hope that the Department will think better of this last-minute outburst and return to negotiations. As a co-equal branch of government, we must have access to the materials that we need to fulfill our constitutional responsibilities in a manner consistent with past precedent. The President has stated that his administration will oppose all subpoenas, and in fact, virtually all document requests are going unsatisfied. Witnesses are refusing to show up at hearings. This is unprecedented. If allowed to go unchecked, this obstruction means the end of congressional oversight. As a co-equal branch of government, we should not and cannot allow this to continue, or we will not be a co-equal branch of government. What a cynical, mean-spirited, counterproductive, irresponsible step it is. Meanwhile, our economy is surging. Unemployment among several minority groups is at historic low. A recent Washington Post poll shows cratering support for impeachment, but Democrats have no plans, no purpose, and no viable legislative agenda beyond attacking this administration. Mr. Chairman, it did not have to be this way. We could have postponed today's vote and accepted the Attorney General's offer. Instead, by not honoring the Constitution's charge to seek accommodations when possible, the prestige of this committee has been diminished. As a result, that should concern us all.